Good evening, Oregon. I'm Kasha Hall here in the Oregonian newsroom in OregonLive.com. It's Friday, December 12th, and thanks for joining me for Crime Time News, a roundup of the top crime stories this week. Four youth were shot near North Portland's Rosemary Anderson High School on Friday. Students were standing outside the alternative school when shots were fired. Police are calling the shooting gang-related and said the shooter fled on foot. A 16-year-old girl is in critical condition. A 17-year-old boy is in serious condition. A 20-year-old man is in serious condition. And a 19-year-old woman who was grazed by a bullet was treated at the scene. The families of two of the victims have identified LeBray Franklin and Taylor Zimmers as victims in the shooting. Police are investigating a potential link between a reported shooting in Gresham and a man found in southeast Portland suffering from multiple gunshot wounds early Thursday. Gresham police say they received a report of a homeowner holding a man at gunpoint, but by the time officers spoke to the 911 caller, the person who had been held at gunpoint had already <laughs> fled the scene. Shortly later, Portland police found a man suffering from multiple gunshot wounds less than two miles away from the Gresham police call. The man is expected to recover from his wounds. A Vancouver police officer shot and killed an attacking pit bull while trying to arrest a 60-year-old man suspected of sexually abusing a child. The incident took place Thursday. The unnamed officer had to be treated at the hospital and put on modified assignment. The man was booked into jail. A man suspected of driving erratically in Clark County, hitting several cars, and then striking and killing a 57-year-old woman on Monday appeared in court this week. This a judge day. set the bail at I half a million for Matthew Saeed Purifoy. The woman who was killed was performing community service as part of a Clark County Corrections litter crew. A federal prisoner accused of slashing the faces of two corrections officers with a razor in a prison in Sheridan has been indicted. The 36-year-old inmate is now in a highly secure federal medical center in Springfield, Missouri. He was charged with two counts of assault with a deadly weapon for the October attack that disfigured two officers. That's all I've got for you this week. Join me next week for another episode of Crime Time News. Until then, you can keep up to date with these stories and more on the Oregonian and OregonLive.com. Good night.